here and I'm back again for another time this week and this week we're going to do something a little bit different I know I did a previous update on a baby bump bean as I call him baby bean uh, in one of my advent calendars but I thought I would come on again and do a quick little update video for you guys so you can uh, find out what is going on in terms of my pregnancy so we will go into this app that I have been absolutely loving lately and I think I've had it like, God, I've had it for like ever. Um, I think I had it from the beginning of the, as soon as I found out I was pregnant. And it's called Ovia Pregnancy. And um, I don't know whether you guys, I don't know whether my phone, my camera will pick it up, but it's this little, this little, and excuse my really badly chipped nail. It's like the only one that's chipped. Um, it is, sorry, up there. That is that. It probably won't show up on camera but you know I click it. anyway I love this app because it's really in depth and it really tells you everything that's going on with your baby and you can uh, name your baby whatever you want and obviously mine is baby bean and this is currently I don't know whether it will show up on camera but it gives you basically the size of your baby uh, obviously how far gone you are and then at the top it has how big your baby's hand actually is at the minute how adorable is that look it can always grip my finger it's so cute obviously you guys know if you have been watching I do not know what I'm having we are keeping it as a, as a surprise um, but according to this right now baby bean is now the size of an England cottontail rabbit now I think I've seen an England cottontail rabbit, but uh, I don't know whether it's accurate or not, but I'm, I'm going to assume so. But you can choose whatever you want. You can have fruits or vegetables, games, or per, uh, Parisian bakery, but I sometimes usually flick between them if I'm not sure about the size of an animal. Uh, so fruit and vegetable wise, baby bean is now the size of a Hawaiian pineapple. So that is what a baby bean looks like right now doesn't look like a pineapple it's <laughs> just the size of a pineapple um so yeah i am now 29 weeks pregnant 29 weeks officially and what i love about this app is it gives you like um more indescript of what's going on um it's going on about how baby moves which baby bean is very very active i do not know what that means in terms of what baby bean's going to be like when he, uh, he or she comes out um because with my previous pregnancies not very active like as much in, co in comparison i feel like he's having a tap dance show in there or playing football or she is do she's doing something he or she is doing something in there um so so obviously there is now 11 weeks to go so we have 11 weeks to go before i am giving birth to baby bean um so a little update um okay let's think what's going on so i haven't disclosed this before but when i went for uh previous scans they said that my placenta is lying quite low basically it's lying across the whole bean needs to get out of um so that isn't the greatest but they say that that can change uh, i have been back for another scan to see if it moved it hasn't um i am going again in february to have another check to see if it has moved worst case scenario if my placenta does not move out of the way I will have to have a c-section which I'm not enjoying the thought of at all I'm not getting anxious about it or anything like that I obviously I've had two children already uh, I've got a 22 year old and a six year old yes I know massive gaps but you know we do these things um, the only thing I'm <laughs> really scared of is the thought of being numb from the waist down and yeah it just doesn't it just, I, I mean i'm not you know if anybody's had a cesarean out there then let me know in the comments below because i do not know what to expect if i do have to go through that um it's quite scary but not too scary because right now i'm thinking they said that the chances of it moving just before baby's born is usually what happens so <laughs> fingers crossed when i go to my next scan in february they will be like yeah yeah placenta's moved it's all good you know 
so we will see on that one um went for a check with the midwife because now we have to have regular measurements to check that the baby's growing properly and everything is good in that respect had a little listen to the heartbeat and um whilst she was listening to the heartbeat um baby decided that he was gonna play with the cord so it's really strange I ne I've never heard it before and she knew exactly what it was she's absolutely amazing midwife um, she said basically what the baby bean was doing was squeezing on the cord <laughs> so it couldn't breathe so it would squeeze and the heart rate would change it would slow down and she was like it'll realize in a second that this is not a good thing to play with and let go so we were listening and then all of a sudden heartbeat went back up to being fast again it was it was crazy the fact that she knew that that's exactly what the baby was doing is crazy it was so cool um i did mention that i am feeling a lot of kicks low down <laughs> like really low down if you get what i mean almost in the bum region and she said because it's my third child that generally a uh, third child's third child <laughs> third the third child generally tends to lie quite low and i didn't know that either so there you go random fact of the day um i'm just trying to think if there's anything else is there anything else that i could tell you guys oh i've got to have a whooping cough injection as well um never had that before that's new um but they say that whooping cough is becoming a bit more um what's the word i'm looking for it's a bit more <laughs> i can't think of the word my this is literally my brain 24 hours a day so guys if you do message me or any anybody that gets back to me or if we speak because i do speak to some of my youtuber friends if i don't always respond it's like i read it and then i get distracted and then i forget to respond so that is why so i do apologize for that my brain is just uh, <laughs> right now but um yeah they're saying whooping coughs it's it's more of around at the minute i can't think of the word oh my god i sound so stupid uh so by me having a whooping cough injection it also covers the baby as well for whooping cough so it's got to be done i had a flu jab that wasn't so bad um I think maybe should I try and show you my bump now hold on I'll take off my scarf and then we'll move the chair and then we'll try and show you what we've got going on right let's see. okay now we did this last time and I think you probably saw me in this top last time guys but this is the most comfortable top that I own it is just and it shows off bean really well so yeah actually sitting a lot lower today it's weird my bump tend to tends to go like from being really high to being a little bit lower so it's quite low today i don't know whether my camera can pick that up but that is what my bump looks like currently hopefully i've managed to get in shot again this time because it worked well the last time i showed you guys so yeah nice big round bump going on at the moment Bean's actually quite quiet right now. I can't feel any kicks. So maybe he or she's having a nap. So that is what that looks like. Oh, sit back down. Right. Ooh, put my scarf back on because it's a bit nippy in this loft. All right so yeah that is currently a bean update <laughs> i think that's what i'll call it bean update i don't know what do you guys think what should i call these updates because i obviously am 29 weeks now and there's only 11 to go 11 11, 11 to go and then um baby b will be here hopefully i will continue in fact no no i'm gonna be positive about this i will continue on doing youtube videos my i have an amazing supportive partner who knows how much I love doing YouTube and knows oh he's just he's just amazing and he said you know when you need to go and film I'll watch the baby it'll be fine you can carry on obviously I may have to take a little tiny tiny break but I'll try and keep you guys as updated as I possibly can as to what's going on um I may upload a picture of baby bean once he or she is born on Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram you'll probably get to see that um 
so yeah that is my bean update for week 29 um if there's anything that i have possibly missed because i think i've rambled on for quite a while um if there's anything i possibly have missed or any questions you have i am more than happy to answer them because i think obviously i've been doing youtube for over a year now guys and you <sighs> You probably feel like you haven't really got to know me as well as you possibly could because I am quite private and I tend to keep my YouTube and my private life separate. Obviously you've seen my youngest uh, little girl in a video way way back when she did my makeup um, but I kind of want to share with you guys a little bit more. I kind of want to let you see because you don't always see my personality properly because I, I'm quite funny I'm quite a funny person um but you guys don't always see that because I don't always tend to film videos where I do much in the way of chatting um I've probably chatted for about a million years now because once I start talking with me generally don't know when to stop it's like and then my voice starts to go and it gets dry and that's generally how I am most of the time I'm a really talkative person. I'm into a lot of things that you guys probably don't even know about. Um, you know that I like my witch type stuff. You know that I like alternative things. Um, if there is anything you would like to know, maybe I should do like a and a video. Do you think that's a good idea? Should I do like a and a and then you guys can just ask me questions that you really want to know about me and I can maybe answer them. That would probably be a good idea actually. I might do that. So that is being update. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate that and you'll see what else there is to come. Um, and yeah, I might have to have a think about a Q&A. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this time guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.